present Lieutenant Colonel McGregory, who will be speaking for MYE. I am here uh, only because, uh, well, two reasons. One, I'm not glad to see these guys go, but do appreciate everything they've done. It's, the other reason is Doug Becker is flat on his back, a position he has been in since that memorable staff meeting when Joe Powell said in the side, by the way, I'm losing half my office. <laughs> uh, we do not know when he'll be back. <laughs> He was well enough to tell me that I was not to tell any jokes that he might want to tell. I was not to give any gifts that he might want to give. Uh, I was not to tell any accomplishments that they might have accomplished because Colonel Keel will want to tell those if he can think of them. <laughs> so it kind of leaves me with what the heck am I doing up here? The first thing I'm doing is stalling till our time so Colonel Keel can rewrite his speech based on everything that's been said so far. <laughs> the second reason is that Doug is going to try and get to talk to all of you some point in time before you all depart. So people driving from Redlands to the base, if you see this guy crawling along the side of the road, he is not drunk. <laughs> he is not on painkillers. He is making the supreme sacrifice. I'm taking the easy way out of this, uh, with all that talent leaving, I'm retiring. <laughs> I'll let the rest of you figure out what you're going to do when they're gone. On behalf of, and by the way, uh, just so you aren't sweating it, uh, it is true, I do not have any gifts, any jokes or anything, so none of you need to worry about being picked on at this time. <laughs> I do appreciate, uh, and I know Doug does, and uh, I know John Pothier was or still out here somewhere. You here, John? I guess he couldn't find his wife. <laughs> but I know John uh, Pothier, the three of us that uh, have had watched these guys uh, develop from, in some cases, brain spanking, wet behind the ears, uh, second lieutenants that didn't know how to salute. Uh, watched them develop into very professional officers, engineers, and people. We wish all of you the best of luck as civilians, as dirty contractors, as fix that went to Space Division, <laughs> whatever it may be, he of little faith and all that good stuff. Secretaries, uh, 20 years in the Air Force has told me that Joe is right when he says they're sync. No office functions without good secretarial support. They are the glue of the organization. They are the power behind the engine. They are the ones that keep all of us out of trouble, like Joe says, in spite of ourselves. Joe, I'm sure, is going to miss you. I know we're going to miss you because we've already seen suspenses are not coming in on time anymore out of MIBP. <laughs> In fact, we have not seen anything come out of MYEP in uh, I don't know how many weeks. <laughs> Hopefully he'll find some replacement secretaries. It'll be half as good as the ones he's losing, so at least we'll see something coming out, even if it's not on time. Wish both of you the best of luck in your future endeavors and wherever they may go and take you. And I'm going to miss all of you. There are a lot of memories of those guys that tried to fly things. I mean, at least for your things, our boosters worked, even if they didn't for other shops. <laughs> so I can't take the blame for those. Secretaries, uh, all the spelling errors were my fault, not yours. <laughs> or Joe's. And is Colonel Keel ready yet so I can, you know, quit? <laughs> He looks like he's stolen for more time. <laughs> so again, good luck out there. And say, Doug will be getting with you all at some point in time. Or you'll be going to his house and we'll be getting you there. And best of luck in the years to come.